All right. I've been meaning to do this for a while. State a, a little bit of a state of the, state of Overwatch video slash talk about it. Um, before we we go into it, I want to talk about this first. I haven't talked about it yet. So for those who don't know, uh, Overwatch put out a statement saying that um, they are going to change the name of McCree. Um, McCree was named after somebody who was very heavily involved in the disgusting shit that Blizzard has done and been a part of. Um, and so I think it's this is absolutely the right move in the one way Team 4 can take a stand against their corporate overlords. Um, because that small Overwatch dev team doesn't have the power to fix on their own all the shit that's happened from the rest of the company around them like they can only control their little sector and they can only do so much and this is in kind of a way of them saying we are absolutely against the stuff that's been happening and we want it nowhere near us you know um now that being said the reaction to this is so fucking tragic the reactions are so tragic you know, people are are more mad about this section. We realize that any change to such a well-loved and central hero, the game's fiction will take time to roll out correctly, and we'll share updates as this work prog work progresses. In the near term, we have planned to kick off a narrative arc in September, supported with a new story and game content, of which McCree was a key part. Since we want to integrate this change into the story arc, we will be delaying the new arc until later this year instead of launching said launch a new FFA map this September. Going forward, in-game characters will no longer be named after real employees and will be sought will be more thoughtful and disconcerning about adding real world references to the future Overwatch content. People are more mad at this part. This new story in-game content being not added. And people think that, oh, they're just using it as an excuse to push back content. There was no actual content, bro. Even at the most basic level, let's say it was a uh, an event where it was a skin event with some lore behind it. That's all the content we've been getting anyways. Like, it's the pushing this back is important because they have to rewrite it because they're going to be start rewriting everything anyways. So, like, why are people so upset that it's, it's getting pushed back? It's like, oh, fix your game, have more content, new heroes, why does the game suck? And don't get me wrong, I'm somebody who's like, I've been playing more Apex for a reason. I'm not happy with how the game feels. But this isn't the time or the place or to go after something. You know? Like, you guys are really upset that a, a fucking probably a skin event in a in a in a in this lore got pushed back? Really? That's what we're mad at? What? We're, we're instead we're not happy that they're taking a stand. And, and and doing the one piece of control that they have over and changing the name for a woman it's named after someone that's terrible and do, has done terrible things to someone else that that's what we're going to choose to get mad at <sighs> that being said that kind of leads into my uh whole want to talk about the state of overwatch in 2021 almost 2022 Just to roll in, because I didn't want to plan to talk about this part first, but because it just fits together. The community has gotten a lot smaller. My community has gotten a lot smaller in recent years, to say the least. And with the community getting so much smaller, we're used to seeing the same faces every day. We're used to seeing the same faces every day. And I think this got amplified by COVID a lot more than in the past but personally as a streamer i feel like how things have gotten much more aggressive and out of hand towards everybody people are mad at each other people are mad at the developers for not content you'll get mad at streamers for, for content they make all the time or they don't like the content or they say it's boring or they say they want something else and they end up reusing the same stuff over and over like there's nothing else to work with you know, as a streamer who looks at other spaces, 
I'm already upset that how how terribly that you know we don't we don't get anything from for streaming this game at all. If you stream a game for another company or another you know say Apex or Warzone etc., they heavily involve themselves and work with their streamers to promote them to promote their own game, and so that everybody wins in the end. We don't get that here. Instead, in Overwatch, a lot of times. It actually feels differently. It kind of feels like not only does the game not really support us, um, but if the community doesn't want exactly, if you don't give the community exactly what they want, they will turn on you as well. And I've learned that mostly in this last couple weeks because I've started playing more Apex. Um, the amount of times people come into my stream, especially, and complain to me that I'm not making them Overwatch content, it sucks. It's not fun. Um, and it kind of, you know, it kind of starts to really show you that some of the true colors of, of what's what's really left for us here in Overwatch. Um, and it's sad because as we turn on each other more and more and more and more, there's even less of us than there was. And I really don't think anybody knew is coming. Both as players, both as developers, both as streamers, both as players, both as a community. Like... There ain't nobody else. We kind of got what we got right now, and it's not growing in almost any way, shape, or form. Um, so that being said, I'm not quitting. I'm in no ways quitting. I actually have some exciting stuff that's coming up. Um, but I invite you to watch this and maybe take it with a grain of salt. And just kind of think about how you either treat yourself and treat your teammates in your games, treat the streamers in the community, you know, if you're actively involved on Twitter, whatever, Reddit, whatever it might be. Um, we don't have a lot left here. And it's kind of sad to watch us even tear down what we got left. Um, and that being said, Let's talk about the thing that most people want to hear about. I feel like I just started watching yesterday. Is it two seven months? Boosted, appreciated. Let's talk about the elephant in the room as well. Um, just how the game itself feels. We haven't gotten content since April, I believe, of 2020. No. Was it 2020? No, it's 2019. When did Echo get released? When was Echo? released overwatch april 14th 2020 okay april 14th 2020 today is august 27th 2021 we have not sniffed new contents in almost a year and a half um yeah it, i mean online is a strange it says April 14, 2020. So we'll just roll with that. Regardless, though, we haven't gotten anything in terms of new content. That's tough for both casual players and people who play all the time. And let's take that a step further. Thank you. High level's not fun because most of the games you bump into double shield, you bump into, you know, just like weird team comps and Overwatch doesn't really feel like Overwatch, you know, and it feels like the same boring comps that we've had to deal with for the last two years since roll queue two and a half years. Um, it's incredible that we still haven't figured that out. Now, if you're wondering why I'm on the patch notes, let's roll through August 12th. We got Diva self destructs didn't do damage as expected. We got some hero updates on the 5th, where Doomfist got some buffs, Genji got some tweaks, Moira got some tweaks, Hog got some weird tweaks, Soldier actually got a buff he definitely needed, and Ball got some real weird changes. Um, do these things really change the meta? Or change high level play? Not really. It just, it kind of just like changes some numbers to just see what happens. Um, and why does that matter for everybody? Well, here's the thing high level play not being fun 
will start to eventually work its way down into lower ranks. And on top of that, too, just not have as much fun with the game overall. And even before you say, well, not actually, I'll just play in the plat and we play Ryan Zoria all day. Consider this. I'm on fire! Saw your flats 2 video can confirm Jamaica Way is a battleground. <laughs> he says he's over three months, dude. Um, consider this. If you haven't noticed, Overwatch's viewership has dropped off a cliff. Especially on Twitch, YouTube is starting to fall as well. Part of what keeps Overwatch alive and keeps what's Overwatch fun is people seeing other people having fun. And as a streamer, I say this to you because the amount of times people say to me, it really sucks that I watch your stream or watch your videos and say, wow, you look like you're having a lot of fun. That looks like a great game, whatever. Then they load it up themselves and it's like, oh, well, didn't have that great of a time, but whatever. They go again the next day. If you lose that part one, catal the catalyst of part one, where you don't see people having fun playing the game anymore, part two wasn't doesn't happen as often. Which means that less people play the game. Less people playing the game means, let's all say it together now, the game starts to die. Rolling through bug patch like this we're all the way back at july 6th at this point we got back in stability for we got one we got one balance change patch in a month and a half and that didn't fix the problems of like high level play um and it certainly obviously doesn't improve low level play either because i know most low level players hate genji and doomfist but regardless it's not really the point the point is Is it feels like on my end and maybe most of the community's end is the effort into overwatch has been given up on um now obviously you don't believe everything you see or hear but there's been talks that overwatch has passed or is being pushed past 2022 into maybe even 2023 we were promised back in BlizzCon in March or February, whenever the, whenever the hell it was this year, that we were going to start getting communication. And I can tell you as a streamer, that has not happened. Okay? Because some people, so there's people out there that like to believe that, you know, oh, they, oh, but they have Blizzard connection. First, not not really. That's not a good like thing. Second, they want, the only way that happens is like, we bump into a hacker. We can like DM someone like, hey, this guy's cheating. and like, two weeks later they'll get banned the thing is nobody's heard of a peep and this is like the fourth time we've been promised that we're going to be told stuff that's happening and i myself as well as very as others are scared and i wouldn't be surprised that you start to see more and people more content creators especially start to leave and start to try other games etc because a lot of us myself still included love this game and have tried to put everything into it but how long can we queue up six eight and someone like emong who's just a grinder 10 hours a day and bump our head into double shield overwatch with no new content there's like like what what do we even get we can't even like play music during stream like there's there's nothing different anymore between my monday stream and my wednesday stream it's the same thing i go i talk to chat for, for 25 minutes or so chats it's going a million miles an hour everyone's having fun laughing and then i hit this button i hit this button i hit this button i hit this button and then i hit this one and then it just goes well back to normal and there's nothing there It's the same cycle over and over and over. And now you could argue like, well, in other games too, it's the same thing. You just queue up over every day. That's just true. Just That's true. But after a month, it changes at least in some form or fashion. We haven't changed in a year and a half. 
So if you're watching this, you know, and you don't really play Overwatch anymore, and you're just wondering what's the state of Overwatch in 2021, I have never thought Overwatch is a dead game. I didn't even really think it was dying. I used the word decaying. I said it was slowly decaying as any other game does. Since the lawsuits come to light, etc., and all the terrible things that have happened and we've learned about happening, it's the first time that I genuinely believe that this game is dying. A lot of people had hope and heart in Blizzard and the company and the development team, etc. And I feel like on some levels that trust has been kind of broken. Um, I think the, the McCreech like being going to be renamed is a great stand from the dev team to be like, hey, you know, we're going to take a stand and, you know, be like we, we were not joking when we say the things we said. We do care. But that has its limits. If corporate overlords don't want them to fix problems. If they're not worth it. So I'm not exactly, I'm not blaming the developers. I'm more blaming like up top, if anything. But I think we're getting to a point that the point of no return is coming and it might already be here. That said, I'm not quitting Overwatch. I will definitely, definitely still be playing a lot of Overwatch and I have some exciting things to talk about very soon um, with you guys. But I will say the passion is a, a lot of it is gone. Um, it's it's just hard to keep making just linear reused content over and over. And I'm not doing an unranked GM on tank like that's. Um, there's there's no fun in just going through and dominating people that are that lower ranks. That ain't fun. The only way I maybe would do it if I decided to play off tank only because my off tank isn't exactly as good as my main tank. But even then, it's just boring. It's just boring. And if we got to the point where that's the only content we have left, well, we're in trouble. We're in trouble. So, answer. Where are we in the state of 2021 Overwatch? Don't come play it. Don't do it. The only reason you come back to play this game is because if you took a couple month break and you want to come back and play the exact same game you played a few months ago, it won't be any different. The meta hasn't changed. The metas won't change. Especially if you're like Diamond and Below, nothing has changed probably for you in two years. It ain't gonna change. I don't see it changing. And that bright future that maybe we once had is getting dim. I hope I'm wrong. I hope it changes. Um, But I'm definitely scared. Very scared.